Hello everyone, Earn the Worm here, and today I'm reviewing the final Assassin's Creed figure that I picked up, and it is Adwali. And Adwali had some really cool DLC to the Assassin's Creed games. He was a really cool character. I loved his story. He just had such a cool story, and he was absolutely a mountain of a man. He was just a massive assassin, just huge. I really liked him, I really did. And from what I can see of this figure, I really like this figure. This will probably be one of my favorite Assassin's Creed figures. And he'll probably go front and center on the shelf with all the other ones. Now, my last review was Connor. Connor ended up being, he was one of my favorite Assassins. But he actually ended up being one of my least favorite figures. He just wasn't very well done at all. But he was one I really wanted to add to the collection. So, this time we have Addy. And he was in series 2 and by series 2 they had corrected a lot of mistakes I feel like with those shoulder joints especially but these always come with these you play bonuses and stuff and I actually got one of them to work I think it was a series 3 figure but I don't think these codes are valid anymore so if you pick up these figures keep that in mind that you may not be able to use the codes anymore but Ad Wally just has a ton of cool accessories. He has his big machete. Got this really nice musket. His chains. Just all kinds of cool stuff in there. They really did this figure justice. But I am going to crack him out of the packaging now. And we will have a closer look at his accessories. And then him. Okay, now I have Ad Wally out of his packaging. Or I like to call him Addy. Yeah, he lets me call him Addy. We're tight like that. He's going to live on my shelf. But first we'll have a look at his accessories. Okay, first you have these shackles. Which, like I said, we're tight. I'm not going to shackle the man. Then you have his dart gun. Very cool. It's a little bent. I'm sure I can straighten it back out. Okay, then he actually has four hidden blades. He has these ones that I think are just partially extended. And then he has the fully extended ones. And he actually has two of each of those. And he has a very nice gun. Very nicely detailed. Got some gold paint on it. Got some intricate designs down there on the stalk. You know what? This looks like the little guy shoveling or something, don't it? <laughs> and the final and my favorite of the accessories is Addy's Hatchet. The edge has a nice sharpened look, really cool, and also has a very worn look, like it has bashed a lot of skulls, and it probably has. Okay, now on to the figure itself. Okay, and here is Addy, very nicely done. They did an excellent job on that face sculpt, very nicely done. All those cool tattoos down on his chin and his eyes, really nice. He has scars all over him, just like in the game. He was a very scarred up, beaten man. I'd say this is probably in scale with the other figures, but he was actually a huge guy in the game. Very, very nice job, which they always do a really nice job on all their assassins' clothing. That's one big part of the game, I guess, that they really wanted to carry over on these figures, is their clothes, these assassins' clothes. Just look at all this. It looks like gold stitch work on his hood. Which I thought this hood was removable, but it's actually glued in like the others. I wish they would have made them removable. Ezio's was removable, and I don't know why they didn't continue that trend with the others. His is actually not removable. He has places to hold his machete, his musket. His machete, I'll probably display his machete in his hand. I'm not really sure if there's a place for that dart gun or not, but I may put the dart gun in where like the machete would go. On the articulation on this one, his head does move a lot inside of that hood, but really I'm just going to leave it where it's at because if it looks any other direction, it really looks weird because the hood doesn't move. And his arm can go up that much. It's got kind of a weird armpit hole there. I'm not going to be looking at his armpits. His arm will only fold in that much, which is not much at all. 
but he does rotate at the elbow and his wrist rotates and then it's on a little disc joint there which I really don't like those tiny little disc joints they just seem like they'd be fragile to me there is some movement at the waist it's not a crunch but it does rotate and then he's got a single bend at the knee which you can almost get 90 degrees out of and then the, the leg does move at the hip but this kind of stops it there then you have rotation at the calf and then you do get pivot at the ankle now at the time I'm doing this review I've actually picked up Syndicate and been playing it and I'm really enjoying it they didn't really make any changes on the gameplay but you know what they say if it ain't broke don't fix it I really enjoy the gameplay I guess I would like some new elements I play the Assassin's Creed because I really enjoy the stories. I love the way they tie in with real history. So I'm really enjoying Syndicate. And now I'm going to see what kind of poses I can get with him and his accessories. So that's my review for Ad Wally from the McFarlane Series 2 figures. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Thanks everyone for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to keep up with the videos. Thank you guys. Bye.